All right, with less than four days before eBay 2K25 even comes out, I want to get on here and share this with y'all because I think a lot of y'all have cap breakers and a few other things misconstrued, and I want y'all to get y'all hopes up or be, you know, misunderstand what everybody's talking about. So first up, make sure y'all like the video, sub if y'all new. I just wanted to give y'all a breakdown of what cap breakers exactly are, okay? So first, I'm just gonna start with what they're telling us, but it is different from what they're telling us because I'm pretty sure if you read this, you would think something else. So I'm gonna just give you guys the brief description of what they said it is. Cap breakers, last but not least, we're excited to introduce cap breakers in NBA 2K25. We saw community feedback that players wanted a way to not only increase attribute ratings above their max potential caps, set at build creation but also have those ratings contribute towards animation badge and takeover attribute requirements that's a w but it has to be explained more <clears throat> that's exactly what cap breakers do for example let's say your ball handle attribute is maxed out at 85 you can apply two cap breakers to play with an 87 ball handle rating and also unlock access to any animations badges or takeovers that require an 87 ball handle there's a few restrictions to ensure balanced gameplay experience so basically you know cap breakers if you do it right Let's say you know how some people couldn't get Trey Young for all the dribblers. Uh, you have to have like a 92, 93. Let's say you uh, start off with a 90. You don't upgrade it all the way. You just have a 90 or 91 or some shit so you can get more attributes because that takes up a lot of uh, caps. So you, you just use it towards something else. It's because you know you're going to get cap breakers. So yeah, that, that's where cap breakers come in clutch. You, you can just wait on that. Cause, you know. There's a few restrictions, you know, I said that. Each attribute can be increased a maximum of plus five its cap. You can use a cap break on an attribute up to its max potential rating allowed by your build's height, weight, and wingspan, which is shown in the My Player Builder while allocating your attribute potential. You must progress an attribute to its max potential rating before applying a cap breaker. There are a total of 15 cap breakers available to earn through rep rewards, more on rep affiliation in the city in a few weeks. All right, so this is where my example comes into play, you guys. So I'm going to be showing y'all a 6'4 point guard build in NBA 2K24. Let's just assume we had cap breakers in 24. You see how my ball handle only goes to a 91 max? I cannot upgrade it no more than that, you know? That's it. You cannot apply cap breakers because this just breaks the laws of your wingspan and everything else. That high wingspan makes it to where my max can only be a 91. So if I lower my ball handle and then upgrade other stuff, but like I still have the potential to get a 91, how it was, a cap breaker can be used to up it. You know, that's that's what it means. You cannot have no, I can't go past a 91, you know, a 91 speed with ball. I think I'm in a 91 speed with ball. Okay. So regardless of cap breakers, I cannot go past this 91. But let's say I lower it, my lower my speed with ball, then upgrade something else. And then I work towards my cap breakers. Like if, if I left my speed with ball to 88 or something and then upgrade to other stuff you know i could come back with the cap breakers and get that to a 91 that's basically what cap breakers are it's not like you could just break the game with all your you know with your wingspan requirements no you can't just add on to that no that's what they mean by you know restrictions balance the smart thing to do is the things that take the most like caps like when making the builder you don't max that out but with that being said, I do want to say, you, you know, you guys have to play the game to get cap breakers, right? Like, and you're not just getting 15 or five, like off rip. It's going to take a long time. So you got to think about that too. You got to take all that into consideration. Do you think want to go like five months without having something where you know you need it to be? Like, I feel like cap breakers are for later on after, you know, already have a decent build in the game basically is for you know you make a new build then it's really just a way for 2k to make more money in this game you can just with rebirth you can just make your build a 99 and then you have the cap breakers which makes people want to do it more because they can really tweak their builds in ways to you know really make their player great so it's all about at the end of the day it's all about 2k making that money uh so i don't want y'all to get too hyped about cap breakers it's really it's really just for that it's like a incentive for people to want to make more builds in my opinion and most of y'all are not getting well probably not even me we're not getting them all them 15 cap breakers we don't even know if this game is going to last you know longer than the first three months how, how it usually is hopefully it does it's a w so far but that brings me to my next point of this video on why we shouldn't be getting too happy all right so you know how they're bringing back our beloved parks in my last video i said you know it's seasonal content but in reality, um, uh, they said it's going to be out when the game first comes out. I seen it, uh, Iggy Nose confirmed it in a stream. I was uh, watching. In reality, this is like, you know, just bad because it's a 2x rep park. With that being said, that means this park is not staying in the game. It's probably just a weekend thing or 
whenever they feel like it. It could be like two times a month or maybe hopefully every weekend, but it's it's not what we think it is. It's literally just an event. That's, that's all it is. Seasonal content, they could have just said it was an event. They're trying to make it seem more... I can't even explain it. They could have just said it's seasonal. I mean, they could have just said it was an event. But the fact that it's 2x rep, we know that this park is not staying in the game. We'll probably see it once or twice a month. Hopefully, I just want to see it in the game. Ronnie, Baluba, anybody, if you see this, any 2K, person at Community Day, tell them, man, like, y'all could take out the 2x rep. Just let us play on these beautiful courts. Like, uh, me personally, I'm not trying to play on no battleship, no robots, Power Rangers. I just want to play on my old parks. But you know how 2K is, I under I understand. I, I expected this, you know, low expectations. They're not keeping a 2X rep park in the game the whole time. So yeah, this park is not here to stay. We'll see it every now and then, how most of us expected, but you know, that's just, it's a L, W but L. Lastly, I just want to talk about legend badges. I feel like legend badges are a scam. Um, now I might finesse mine to where, cause I really don't care about legend badges. I could see it not really mattering, you know, maybe to get a crazy half court shot now and then. But I feel like every time we hear about some OP badges, it's really not a different from the, the tier under. So I'm not really concerned about it, but I will make sure my one of my players, probably my first player, I will make sure he's able to get a 99. I'm still thinking about that. I have to get in the build of myself. I can't really say anything, but I'm not looking at nobody else's build. I I've looked at the videos, but I don't take any of those into consideration. I just want to look at, you know, some builder, some builder things and like that. But I'm not worried about any build I've seen online. I do want to make a build that can't get a 99.3 or playmaking, uh, you know, speed with ball, not speed with ball, ball handle. But I just need to get in the build on myself and really see what I want to do. I will make sure he is able to get something to a 99 or 98 but i will not be feeling that all the way because i don't care about legend badges that much so i do want to be able to get it later down the line if this game is actually good or just make a new build i don't uh we'll see how that goes but i'm not going to be upgrading anything to a 99 potential off rip so yeah let me know what y'all think about legend badges i don't really have nothing to say about it i feel like every time we hear about a crazy new badge it's really not what it is it's it's just it's just a waste of caps that's what i feel like it is every time because gold badges were doing great this year uh they say it's different every year it's not let me know uh strength i feel like strength still hasn't really mattered as much as they make it seem a lot of things just i feel like it's just overhyped like it, the builder nobody knows exactly what to do until like a month or two after the game after we play after we see what actually works and what doesn't work so yeah everybody always messes up their first deal it's not really messing up it's just the fact that Things don't work how they should work. So, you know, we just gotta go back in and fix it. That's all it is. So it's like everybody messed up their first build. It's not really messing up. It's just nobody knows what's actually going on in the game until the game is out. So yeah, let me know what y'all think about Legend Badges. Three more days, three more days, three, four more days until NBA 2K25 comes out. We finally see if it's worth all the hype we've been seeing. So uh, yeah, that's it for this video. I'm out.